I want to go check in with Anderson Cooper and Sanjay Gupta, who are in Haiti for us tonight. And, and guys, we, we recognize, obviously, given what's going on there, that people weren't exactly gathered around the TVs, uh, anxious to hear an American president's State of the Union address. But he did talk at the end of his speech. I, I do believe that both of you were able to hear uh, about the aid that's been going to Haiti and the commitment to, to trying to help there. Give us your take on what you heard. Well, he did talk about uh, the, some of the American uh, rescue workers who have been down here. He talked about 10,000 Americans who are on the ground here right now. Uh, he also talked about sort of the, the spirit uh, that, that, that brought people here, uh, volunteers. He talked about a little boy in Louisiana who had sent the president his allowance money, said, please send it on to Haiti. And he talked about uh, rescue workers here who I believe uh, he was referencing rescue workers from uh, L.A. County Fire Department, who we actually spent some time with uh, last weekend, uh, who, as they were pulling somebody out of the crowd, was chanting USA, USA. But that was really uh, the only references to Haiti. There wasn't much talk about any kind of long-term commitment, mm -hmm. really not the kind of thing you would expect, anyway, in a State of the Union address. Sanjay? Well, you know, it's interesting. I, I, you know, obviously, we, we heard the, the couple of references to Haiti. I was, I was really focused on uh, listening to what he would say about health care reform. And, you know, before the speech, I wasn't sure how strong he was going to be on this. I was, how much was he going to talk about it? It was interesting because he sort of did it in an interesting way. He started by saying, look, it, it wasn't a politically palatable thing for him to be talking about. And he even conceded that in many ways he took the blame for not explaining this as well as he could. But then, you know, he said, we're closer than we've ever been. Uh, with regard to health care, talking about the support from the American Medical Association and lots of other organized medical groups. One thing I thought was sort of interesting, Cam, well, I've been in Haiti for over two weeks now, so maybe I haven't been paying as close attention, but it seems like the term that kept getting used was health insurance reform. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if that was deliberate or noteworthy, but <laughs> I, I didn't hear health care reform as much, but, but health insurance reform. Well, yeah, I think you're absolutely right. You got a lot of nods uh, around the table here, Sanjay, when you said that. They're being very careful, I think, to change the language tonight. Uh, as it's clear that the, the bill that, that was being talked about, at least, is, is dead in the water. Um, and, and that was, I think, most of the takeaway we've heard from, from our analysts here uh, and, and from what you were able to, to hear uh, w when he did address it, given that it was pretty much buried in the speech, was it your sense that this is really getting pushed to the back burner, clearly? Well, you know, I, I think that uh, the fact that he talked about it, and I think he was pretty forceful on it, uh, again, was interesting. The, there are a couple of themes that have continuously emerged, uh, one being this idea that uh, people will not be discriminated against based on pre-existing conditions, and that seems to have a lot of traction, and also that insurance companies, uh, because someone is sick, can't charge these exorbitant rates, so they're going to be capped in some way. But, you know, he really, uh, my take on it was that he really tied it back to the economy, saying, look, you know, uh, there are millions more people likely to lose their health care insurance over the coming year. And I think that that was a direct reference to the fact that, that, that unemployment could go up and, and jobs and, and health care insurance are so inextricably tied together. Sanjay Gupta and Anderson Cooper for us from Haiti tonight. Um, obviously, they're going to be reporting throughout the week on, on what's happening there as well.